Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'll be doing a start to finish install. This one is a hair tutorial courtesy of Mega Look. They sent over this gorgeous curly number 33 is the color. It's like a reddish brown look. I absolutely love the way I executed it. And you guys know I recorded the entire situation. I was about to freak out if I wasn't recording, but I went ahead and filmed this for you guys. It's an absolutely gorgeous install. You guys know I love a good red. I love a good brown. I love a good orange. I love a good reddish brown. This one kind of is like that reddish brown tone that we all love so much. Typically, I would do this color in like the fall and winter, but because we went bob curly, I think this one is awesome for the summer, spring, and just all, you know, all seasons. I'm an all seasons kind of girl when it comes to my hair. Whatever I'm feeling, I don't care what season it is i'm gonna wear curly in the rain and in the winter and i'm gonna wear the reds and the burgundies and all of that in the summer so if you're interested in seeing this install and getting all the tea keep on watching okay babies so we are going for a color 33 reddish brown this is a hd transparent lace and it is a free part lace front wig it looks like it's a 13 by 4 and like I said before, it's three part, which means you could part it all the way across. Side part, middle part, deep part, whatever you like. It also comes with the elastic band inside. I'm just going to start off by cutting the excess lace at the nape. I am losing my voice, but I was saying it's best to customize your wig as much as you can, like off your head. It's just easier when you have two, an two hands, two eyes, and you can see, you know, everything on a wig head or in your hand opposed to, um doing it on top of your head you can just be a little bit more efficient but if you're like me and you had lots of practice you might be okay so this one here is absolutely gorgeous it has like a deep 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 asymmetrical bob cut so this is gonna be fun for sure to play in um also, things that you can do to prep and customize is go ahead and make sure your wig cap matches your complexion. Now, you guys know they have this new technology with these, um, what do you call them, HD wig caps. We love a good ball, met, ball cap method for when we are getting like a an install for an event, a special occasion. If I'm paying my money my money for somebody to install my wig i want them to install um, a ball cap and do the whole nine yards but if you're like me and you're at the crib and you are putting your wig on and you know you're gonna work out five days a week and sweat um and need to like get to your hair it's just a lot of work to be trying to do those every other day so i am just going to tint the wig cap and again this is a hd wig cap so it's a lot thinner um than the old school ones now step one for me would literally be to just cut off any excess lace around the ears and then i just go in and just cut literally like this is my ear and i just snip around the shape of my ear I would rather not cut enough than to cut too much. And voila, we've cut off the lace. Now we kind of see if that we'd cut enough by just pulling it around our ear perfectly. And that fits absolutely perfect. So we've done this side and we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. And just cut like you are tracing your ear in a way. Obviously be careful, don't, touch, don't cut your ear or your skin. And once you got all, all out, you just kind of pull because when you cut your hair or you cut your lace, little stragglers are going to come out as well. Go around and see. Did we get it? Get it. We did perfectly. Normally, I would go ahead and just take my adhesive of choice, spray it on top, and then put the wig band on and let it air dry. But because I already have makeup on my forehead, sometimes to me that just gets messy. And it's easy to clean up, but the Virgo in me just doesn't like this going into my makeup and having to clean it up. So I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to do a little bit of the original old school way that I used to do it by just cutting off the excess lace from ear to ear. And then we're going to bond down today. We are using that yellow even product that I just waved. You guys know by now they have at least like five or six, maybe even more. They have like the black, the red, the gold, the purple the yellow and I think there's a couple more so lace has been removed let's go ahead and just bond her down
bet your bitch. I just went ahead and bonded the wig down and then I went ahead and trimmed out um or tweezed the hairline. I really want to do like very, very, very like micro, like little squiggly baby hair and then of course we're going with a bust down center part so I'm going to go ahead and switch back to music but I am doing the dynamic duo which is just this wax stick here and I'm going to use the electric cock comb to really stamp this out Whoa, 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 whoa. You're so pretty. Boy, you always want to do mommy hair. You like doing hair like mommy? I do wigs. Hmm? I do wigs. You do wigs? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, love the hair, but of course it's dyed. I literally just brought, bought, purchased this um, little two-piece pajama set from Target. I've had this set from Amazon, but it kind of like got too big um, on me and it kind of stretched out. This is a size small. I mean, we're doing something right here, but I'm going to go ahead and switch it to something black so that I don't dye my outfit. And then we're going to go ahead and wet it down and see if we can get these curls popping. Okay, so this is the before. I say I came up, they gon' say I changed up. Step my game up when you bring my name up. They gon' say I came up, they gon' say I changed up. Step my game up. We're gonna go with something simple and OG, something super classic, which is the Cantu Curl Cream. Or is this Curl Cream? No, this is Cantu Argan Oil Leave In, not the Curl Cream. And this is what the curls are looking like. And let's get them right. The vibe is massive, it's supernatural, keep it factual, you know you're maxing back, look at the way they hold they chat, honestly amazing, I want you on occasion, I can do you favors that I know you won't do for, yeah, yeah, I know what you want, you got it gorgeous, you bet you're talking, it's talking me nice, I guess I can take the AirPods out because we are done with the look. Oh, we're not done. We're almost done with the look. Let's go ahead and add some concealer and powder. This is how I personally prefer to kind of bring the look together. And also, as others will call it, tint the lace. Now, I was perfectly fine all this time. Now, all of a sudden, something is terribly in my eye. Now this is a curly bob, which typically majority of my bobs are like straight. So it's fun to have a little bit of a switch up here. Now it did come with like that angled asymmetrical look, which I really loved. But I did go ahead and custom trim it a little bit more um, to my liking. Of course you can go in and do whatever you like. I did like that dramatic drop, but this just seems a little bit more fluid and just, um, not fluid. Yeah, fluid. Like it just, you know ends properly but now i'm sure if i go in and straighten it which straightening it is an option you can definitely straighten this wig i'm probably sure i'm probably sure that i'm most likely sure that when i straighten it um this won't be perfect and i don't know what it is but i've been wearing these lashes for hours now all of a sudden there's like some invisible string of hair one on each eye that just won't go away. So I'm going to try and ignore it the best I can. As far as the color goes, you guys know this is my jam. I always feel like a good brown, a good orange, a good red. And even better, a good reddish brown works well with me. And this color number 33 is no disappointment at all. The lace works well with me. Because this is a curly wig, I did opt to do some fun um, baby hair here. But you can obviously um, skip out on that or you can just switch the design if you don't want a straighter cross with a little micro baby hair you can definitely go in and just do the two swoops or just whatever you like um this one did come from mega look 
Now I do have another fun uh, video collaboration with Megula coming up later this week. So make sure you stay tuned for that. This is the dust bag the wig came in. Um, and then of course they gave me this little goodie pack. And inside you do just have some traditional wig caps. Baby hair brush. Pack of lashes. A melt belt that actually says mega look on it and last but certainly not least you have this little um hair clip it's just a regular like gold hair clip but on this side it has like some pearl details and like a little seashell situation here very fun and beachy it'll go really good like as a little side clip i prefer these type of clips with like straight hair but it'll be fun to add to the vibe now again my favorite part of this one is either the color or the cut i love both the cut i never get this type of cut with curly hair so i'm so excited Excited to bring this one out for the weekend be sure to check this one out i do have a direct link in the description box i hope you enjoyed this fun look thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches